right, you folks aren't done, just push pause and start us up when you are. We're going to go ahead and go to the computer and calculate this. And I will increase the size of this screen, okay? Tell me when you can start to see it, folks. Keep going. Okay. Can you see that? Okay. All right. I'm kind of doing this over to the right of everything so we can kind of see where some of these numbers came from. Can you see that back there, John? Okay. Haley? Okay. All right. What is our net income number? 301,500. Oops. 301,500. Okay. What is our depreciation expense that we add back? 81,000, right? And we got those numbers right here and right here, correct? Okay. Now let's go ahead and we can kind of scroll off of that a little bit. Make this even a little, a little easier to see. Okay. All right. Um, now, what is our increase in accounts receivable? And do we add that or subtract it? We subtract it and it's an 18,000 increase. So we subtract that. Is that correct? Okay. Uh, we have a, an increase in inventory. Do we add that or subtract it? Subtract it. 112,500. We have a decrease in accounts payable. Do we add that or subtract it? Subtract it. Negative, negative 4,500. Do we have uh, a ch we have a change in income tax payable. Is that current? That is current. What is the change? 4,500? Increase? Do we add it or subtract it? We add it. 4,500. Okay. Now, if we add those together, you can learn a little Excel here at the same time. We get $216,000. Is that correct? Okay. Now, what do we title that $216,000? Well, what is that thing? Yes, you're right. Let's go ahead and call it. Now, it's a positive number. So sometimes people will say, sometimes people will say net cash operating uh, cash flows, or sometimes they'll say cash provided by operating activities. I'm going to abbreviate a little bit, okay? With, you with me? Since it's a positive number, that is a cash provided by operating activities. Are you with me? If it was a negative number, we'd say cash used in operating activities. But it's a positive number. All right? Questions there? Now, that is the first step. Well, the first step is, is actually know how to classify your cash flows. The second step is being able to calculate operating cash flows. Now, here's what you do next. You, you go down to this additional information that is given to you, okay, uh, on the cash flow statements. And in real life, this information would be readily available too. We'll talk about that in a minute. But what I want to do is I want to go through each one of these items, A, B, and C, and I want to classify that cash flow, and I want to say, is it a net outflow or a net, well, we don't have to go net. Is it an outflow of cash or an inflow of cash? And just picture the situation. Is cash coming to us or going away from us? Okay. For example, purchased equipment for $54,000 cash. What type of cash flow is that, if you know how to cash, classify your cash flows? It, was it uh, operating, investing, or financing? Investing. 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 It is an investing cash flow. And is it an outflow or an inflow of cash? Outflow, outflow right? You go, buy, you go buy equipment, you have 54000 less cash than you had before, right? Once that check clears. So that's an investing outflow, okay? All right, issued 36,000 shares of common stock for 250 per share. What type of activity or uh, cash flow is that? Financing. Financing, correct? Is that an inflow or an outflow of cash? Inflow. inflow. That's why we issue stock is to have cash inflow. Okay, good. 
Now we declared and paid 166,500 of cash dividends. What type of cash flow is that? Financing. That's a financing. Is that an inflow or outflow? outflow? That is an outflow, right? Cash is leaving us. Now we want to use this information here. This is very important, okay? This is very important. I'll highlight it there. Because now what we're going to do, and you may not be able to see it all on the screen, is we are going to prepare our investing. In the, sound it out, Dave. Investing cash flows section. Well, we had one investing cash flow that we classified. And what was it? Purchased equipment. So what should we call that? Well, how about purchased equipment? Okay. Now, did cash inflow or cash outflow? It outflowed. So this is a negative number. How much cash outflowed? $54,000. Okay. Now, do we have any other investing cash flows? No, we do not. So we're going to go ahead and total this up just to be consistent. Okay. We're going to go ahead and total that up. But what we're going to call that is, what do you think we should call it? By investing activity. Not provided by since it's negative. What we're going to say is cash used in investing activities. Does that make sense? Now sometimes people just say net operating activities or net investing activities and net financing activities or net operating cash flows, net financing cash flows, net investing cash flows. There, there's going to be a variety of things, okay? But um, it's used in if it's negative, it's provided by if it's positive. Now, did that make sense what we did? That was pretty easy, was it not? Pretty easy? Okay, now what I want you to do is the music's going to play for a couple minutes. Let's see if you can do the financing cash flows section, okay? Let's see if you can do the financing cash flows section. So let's roll the music, do that real quick. <laughs> 